this is Hogan from Infinity TV, and I'm going to demonstrate to you how easy it is to do the full restore on the Infinity TV. First thing you want to do is make sure you're connected to the internet by clicking on settings. And there's our connection right there. It says connected, so we're good to go. And from there, we'll load Infinity TV. And from the welcome menu, we go to Infinity TV Wizard, and we have two main options, the full restore and the adult full restore. So either or, either or will work, depending on what you want. It will ask you to wipe your box, you say yes, and this will take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes to wipe the box. Okay, so as you can see now, the wipe is complete. So at this point, you'd say press OK to download the restore file. And here we go downloading. If you get any pop-ups that pop up saying dependency check or anything like that, just hit yes on them and they'll go away. And we'll take a short brief pause here while this is downloading. We'll be right back. So here's an example of one of the dependencies. It came up for Can TV Live. All you do is say yes and it will continue downloading. So here we are, it's fully downloaded and installed the update, and now you'll get installation nearly complete. One important step remains, just hit OK. And it'll tell you, urgent, please power off your de device immediately, and then reboot to finish setup. And then to power off the device, you just press and hold the power button. And it will pop up, say power off, just say power off, and then OK. Let's power it off, then we'll just fire it back up and we'll have the new OS fully installed. All in all, it took about 10, 12 minutes. And it took two hours to do it. <laughs> the first time it uh, reboots, it will take a little bit longer because it's configuring the new update. It will only do this the first time. If your screen goes totally black, just leave it for about 30 seconds. It's still configuring the updates. Ta-da! We're done. So I'll hit on Infinity TV. Now I highly recommend once it boots up into Infinity TV, there will be a few more add-on updates. So it's a good thing that once you get it fired up here, I'll show you, um, just to leave it for about 10-15 minutes just so it can get all those final updates for the add-ons that it's going to install. And usually what I'll do to help push that along faster is I'll go right into Genesis. And you'll notice it's the reason it's not coming up right away is because the add-ons are updating in the back. And then I'll just leave it right there for about 10-15 minutes and you'll see the odd add-on popping up saying, you know, NHL on demand updating, iLive TV updating, CCloud updating. There's about eight, maybe nine of them. So it's best just to let it sit for about 15 minutes, and then you're off to the races with our brand new menu. And you'll see it blink every once in a while. That's just the add-ons in the back. Like I said, if you just let it sit for about 15 minutes before you go watching anything, and you'll be good to go. There we go. There's Israel Live add-on updated. And you'll know it's updating as the ticker kind of jerks. There's Phoenix add-on updated. Once the ticker starts moving along without any like jiggity like that, see it jiggity there we go. White cream's updating. And there's so I was guys telling you that will that'll sit for about 30 seconds as it updates. And uh, and that's it. And then after that's all done, we are watching Infinity TV. Thank you very much for watching this video. And there'll be more coming soon. Thank you.